everybody, Alex here, healthhacksreview.com. Uh, this is a review video on a brand of laser that is class four that you may have not heard of, even though it's been around a long time. <laughs> as far as class fours, it's been around probably since the beginning. Um, and, you know, really the main reason you probably haven't heard of it is just marketing reasons. Um, they haven't really done a lot with their marketing, um, spent a lot of money, I mean, and haven't been as aggressive with it. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Actually, some of the better lasers out there, just better equipment out there, um, you know, you just they don't spend a lot of money on their marketing. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, however, I would say that they were more well known years ago, uh, simply for the reason that there weren't a lot of other class fours around. There weren't as many class threes. So just from that standpoint, more people knew about them back then. Uh, so Pilot, uh, you may have heard of that laser, um, especially if you've been into lasers for the last like 15 years or longer. And so what I really like um, about this best kept secret is that you know the manufacturer Chow Group um, out in Utah, one of the few laser manufacturers um, in the United States, that's nice. But what I like too is that they're kind of laser experts, meaning they also do R&D. So they do research and development on lasers in general, always have. Uh, they make lasers for other applications, not just therapeutic lasers. So they know lasers really well. They just don't build them for one specific thing. Uh, you know, there's a lot of companies, well, not a lot, but there's a few manufacturers out there that, you know, their main specialty is not lasers or their main specialty isn't therapeutic lasers or the only thing they specialize in is therapeutic lasers and they just don't have general larger knowledge about them. Um, so what I'm saying is it's a great manufacturer, okay? I also know a couple people that have actually worked inside of that company uh, and that's actually where I get a lot of my information too just on different brands is I have different connections who've worked for different companies or worked behind the scenes at different manufacturers you get a lot of interesting information that way that you, the consumer, <laughs> could never get unless you ended up meeting the same people and forming the same relationships. But uh, So I liked a lot of what I heard also on the back end inside the company, just about how it's run, the integrity, things like that. And also, I know from consumer experience, they do a lot of unusual things, unusual in a good way, uh, that just kind of shows me that they just want to make the customer happy and that's it and they just want, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, give me give me an example. Um, so they just recently in the last few months uh, upgraded uh, their their machine and by the way, like a Toyota Camry, they've <laughs> only put out really like one type of model, quote unquote, a therapeutic laser and they've continued to improve it continue to improve it. So instead of having all these models and get this one and get this one for this one and this one, you know, and oh, here's our new and improved, they just continue to fine tune and say, okay, this wasn't as good at this stage. Let's improve this. Let's put some money and improve this. Let's eventually try to just create a therapeutic laser that is a fantastic value and good quality. That's it. That's all they've done. They've just focused on this one device. Okay. So recently they upgraded their module inside, so it's how the laser's running in there. Um, and uh, inside that module, which is inside the box, it can now handle a capacity of 15 watts of power. All right. Uh, and previously, the module was right around like 9 or 10, okay? And the output was 9, 9 ish, okay? And so, what is, wh why they do the upgrade? Well, first off, when they did the upgrade, they didn't change the retail price. They could have. I mean, that's a pretty big leap in module quality, component quality, and what's needed to leap like five watts. They didn't charge, they didn't upcharge for that retail price. And uh, if any customers ever had any issue uh, with previous models, they would upgrade that free of charge. So, I mean, just those two things, it's like you never hear anything like that. Um, they're not out to like, you know, let's maximize money. They could have said, well, now we have a five extra five watt model and a module to this and uh, it's an extra $2,500 or more. Or, oh, you want to upgrade now since you have, this? we'll give you that option for, you know, $2,000, you know, but they didn't do that. So why did they upgrade this? They did something now unique. Um, they, they saw in therapeutic lasers, one of the most common problems with class four devices is called power drops. 
Okay, and so what does that mean? Power drops or catastrophic failures? Catastrophic failures means it just doesn't turn on. It turns off. Okay, but what's a power drop? Well, power drop um, is when basically you've been running the laser for too long, uh, not necessarily too long, but you've just done a lot of treatments that day, or you've done a really long treatment. And if you have an actual um, joule emitter or like a beam uh, digital meter, so you can measure the output power of the beam, what you'll actually see then over time, either that day after a lot of usage or after a few months with some brands or a couple years, you'll see that the beam, uh, the actual output power drops. Okay, so it's like, wait a minute, I set it for 15 watts, why am I getting 12.5? you know, or whatever it is, and you can actually tell that on the beam. And by the way, probably about 90% of the practitioners' lasers, practitioners that I used to go around and test, uh, their lasers were not outputting nearly as much as they thought they were. And I would say that <laughs> I always found those in the same brands, uh, same companies. And I would also add this as well. I do talk about repurposed lasers. Uh, you know, when you look at the original manufacturer and you see, oh, wait a minute, their lasers were designed, the module really for dental lasers or, or some other application or aesthetic application, and they just repackage them for musculoskeletal use, which is a totally different application, uh, which basically fries and burns out the diode and the module way faster. So there's a lot of people out there having that problem. So they said, you know what, let's try to eliminate this problem. The, probably the best way so that we don't have to make sure the practitioner listens to our directions you know, because that just generally doesn't happen. Um, you know, if you get, for example, you paid all this money, let's say, for a 15-watt laser, like a K laser or something like that, and you know, I just dropped $25,000. You know, you can't tell me that I can't use it at 15 watts. What? But really, realistically, that would be an advisable thing to say. Say, well, don't quite use it at that full power range because that's the max it'll go to. But in general, if you really want to wear that thing out fast and have catastrophic failures or, or power drops, Try to use it a few watts lower, or just don't do too many treatments, or don't do too long. I mean, could you imagine them saying that after you just they just charge you eighteen to twenty five thousand dollars? That's in general. So what that has created with some companies is a lot of problems people have with a lot of the same issues. So again, you know, Chow Group uh, said, uh, and Chow is by the way the name of the uh, person who started the company. Um, you know, just said, well, let's just kind of like lock you know, lock the bandwidth of power that you can use. So a practitioner can't exceed that. So basically eliminate one of the most common problems with some of these class four devices out there. So there's always gonna leave that, you know, several watt, you know, bandwidth of potential power that will be untapped that will basically ensure the longevity of the module. And it'll ensure just, it'll eliminate a lot of those potential problems. Uh, so I think that's smart. So basically, even though it has a 15 watt module on there, no, you're not going to get 15 watts out of that. Okay, just for clarification, you might see like uh, you know, as far as what I've tested, even though what they tell you, they'll tell you like nine ish. But really, I've seen like 10, 10.5, somewhere around there. Point is, it's right around that area, and you can't go any higher. It's not going to go any higher. Um, but that really protects the device and eliminates just a common issue of people overusing a device or just needing something replaced in the near future. Uh, so a device like this that's protected and buffered there can last a very, very, very long time with a lot of heavy, heavy usage. Heavy usage. Um, so I think that's smart. It's just a really smart idea. Um, will they up give upgrade options in the future and new models? Who knows, maybe, uh, knowing them, probably. Uh, but that's where it's at right now. They didn't change the price point at all. Um, but I think it's good to point out They'll also include three different probe sets. Which again is unusual because those probe sets are expensive. Um, they'll include three in there. Uh, the third one's for surgery. If you're not going to do any surgery, forget it. They won't include it. You don't need it. But the other two are different uh, beam widths. So basically one for the more of the outer parts of the body. There's more surface area. And then one's for like smaller area treatment areas, inside areas of the body, um, like interior, not like... In, well, anyways, uh, so they can, they'll can actually include a couple different diodes in there, uh, hand pieces, which, um, yeah, is, is actually a great deal. Uh, most companies just give you one hand piece uh, and one diode to use. Uh, it's adjustable power, like a lot of them. It's not, you know, they did upgrade the display, by the way. Again, didn't charge additional price versus the old ones. It just have more of like a analog looking type of thing old school, um, but it's a much nicer display now if you're really into that kind of thing. It's not really necessary though. You just got to know, hey, 
what power am I choosing? And that's pretty much it. Is this thing on? Is this thing off? And then just go right into your treatment. So you're not going to see like a lot of fancy, you know, like elaborate presets and all these things on there that really don't really account for helping with efficacy. It just really comes down to the power that's being delivered on a single wavelength. And so they've done that here with the device. Then when you look at that cost per watt, anywhere from like 700 to 1,000 around their cost per watt. But it's one of the few lasers that you might be able to get actually under 1,000 uh, for a class four device cost per watt. Pretty incredible. Um, and again, with the display, you can actually select in 100 milliwatt increments and actually adjust it down just by pushing down or up. Very simple interface. Why am I mentioning that is because several other class fours can do that, but a lot of people just don't know that when they're thinking about like, hey, should I get a class three, you know, or get this other device? Because uh, it gives me that low power, you know, for things I want to treat. Well, in this case, you can still get a class four and have that whole area of potential power for all sorts of conditions that you might see. But if you want to dial it down to 100 milliwatts and because you feel like that's better for treating somebody's knuckle, I mean, you can go ahead and do that. So pretty cool. Uh, that is on there. That's that's kind of more of a standard thing with, you know, class fours nowadays, but a lot of people don't know that. You can adjust it down. Some of them you can adjust down, though. I would mention this. Uh, some brands you can adjust down in small increments like that. Sometimes it's just a watt, like big chunks. But this one it gives you 100 milliwatt increments. So you can really kind of fine tune if you really want to start to play around with what other practitioners are doing and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, it also has a safety pedal, by the way, that you have to hold down. Not all class fours have that, which I think, again, is smart. So they're research and development. So uh, it's smart, actually, to have a pedal because it's like that extra safety mechanism that when you don't push it down and your foot comes off it for any reason, guess what? That laser shuts off. So it's, it's one of the best ways uh, to eliminate one of the big risks with lasers in general, uh, class threes and class twos and ones, uh, but especially class fours, uh, is have a pedal. So, you know, most likely you'll forget you're stepping on it and step off of it and it shuts off. Uh, it's just instead of just having it on the control panel where you turn it on and it's just permanently on, you're talking, you're waving the thing around. <laughs> that's, how, that, that's how injuries happen. So, um, anyways, I did do a review video on that with uh, one of their devices that maybe you can find out there. And uh, I'll try to include that on the, below in the box. If you have any more questions about this brand, if it might be right for your specific application, home use application, uh, or uh, for your practice, you know what to do. Thanks.